A Nation Forged in Fire, Israel's Early Challenges Israel's birth in 1948 was a tumultuous affair, marked by intense conflict and uncertainty. The Declaration of Independence was met with immediate hostility from neighboring Arab states. Surrounded by hostile neighbors, the nascent state faced an existential threat from the outset. The borders were fragile, and the geopolitical landscape was fraught with tension. Outnumbered and outgunned, Israel's survival hinged on its ability to defend itself against overwhelming odds. The early years were a test of resilience and ingenuity. This precarious situation would define Israel's early years and lay the foundation for its future as a technological military power. The spirit of determination and innovation became ingrained in the national psyche. The 1948 Arab-Israeli War, also known as the War of Independence, saw Israel pitted against five Arab armies. The odds were daunting, but the resolve of the Israeli people was unyielding. Lacking a proper military, Israel relied on a patchwork of militias and armed civilians. These groups were composed of men and women from diverse backgrounds, united by a common cause. Weaponry was scarce, often outdated, and acquired through whatever means possible. The resourcefulness of the Israeli forces was put to the test as they scoured the globe for arms. Despite these challenges, Israel emerged victorious, securing its independence but also learning a crucial lesson. Technology would be essential for its survival. The victory was a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Israeli people. The years following the war saw Israel focus on building a professional military and securing its borders. However, the threat remained. The need for a well-trained and well-equipped military became a national priority. Arab nations, smarting from their defeat, sought to arm themselves and prepare for future conflicts. The arms race in the region intensified, with both sides seeking to gain an advantage. Israel, acutely aware of its vulnerability, realized it could not win a war of attrition. The lessons of the past had shown that numerical superiority alone was not enough to ensure victory. It had to find a qualitative edge, a way to overcome numerical and material disadvantages. This realization spurred a national effort to innovate and excel in military technology. This realization would drive Israel to invest heavily in research and development, setting the stage for its transformation into a technological military powerhouse. The focus on innovation and self-reliance became a cornerstone of Israel's defense strategy, ensuring that the nation could stand firm against any threat. Necessity, the mother of invention, Israel's early military technology. The early years of Israel's existence were marked by a constant need to innovate. From the moment the state was established in 1948, it faced existential threats from neighboring countries. This precarious situation demanded a rapid and effective response, pushing the nation to the forefront of military technology. With limited resources and facing a constant threat, Israel turned to its greatest asset, its people. The collective ingenuity and determination of its citizens became the cornerstone of its defense strategy. A culture of ingenuity and resourcefulness born out of necessity permeated Israeli society. This mindset was not just limited to the military, but was a part of everyday life, influencing various sectors including agriculture, technology, and medicine. This was particularly evident in the military, where soldiers and commanders were encouraged to think outside the box and find creative solutions to battlefield challenges. The ability to adapt and innovate on the fly became a hallmark of the Israeli Defense Forces IDF. One of the earliest examples of Israeli military innovation was the development of the Uzi submachine gun in the late 1940s. This weapon was a game-changer for the IDF. Designed by Uzi El Gal, a young officer in the IDF, the Uzi was a compact, reliable and easy-to-use weapon that quickly gained a reputation for effectiveness. Its design was revolutionary for its time, featuring a telescoping bolt design that allowed for a shorter weapon. Its adoption by the IDF gave Israeli soldiers a crucial advantage in close quarters combat, a factor that would prove decisive in numerous engagements. The Uzi's reliability and ease of use made it a favorite not just in Israel, but around the world. Another key innovation was the development of indigenous aircraft and weapon systems. This was a significant leap for a young nation with limited industrial capabilities. Unable to purchase advanced weaponry from major powers due to arms embargoes, Israel began developing its own. This self-reliance was not just a necessity but became a point of national pride. This led to the establishment of Israel Aerospace Industries in 1953, a company that would play a pivotal role in transforming Israel's military capabilities. 
IAI became a hub of innovation, attracting some of the brightest minds in the country. IAI's early successes included the development of the IAI Nesher, a supersonic fighter jet based on the French Dassault Mirage 5. This aircraft was a testament to Israel's growing capabilities in aerospace engineering, and the Gabriel missile, an anti-ship missile that proved highly effective in the 1973 Yom Kippur War. The Gabriel missile's success demonstrated Israel's ability to develop advanced weaponry that could change the course of conflicts. These early innovations laid the groundwork for Israel's future advancements in military technology. The legacy of this period is still evident today, as Israel continues to be a leader in defense technology, constantly pushing the boundaries of what is possible. From drones to cyber warfare, the spirit of innovation that characterized Israel's early years remains a driving force. The lessons learned and the technologies developed during those formative years have had a lasting impact not just on Israel, but on military strategies worldwide. The emphasis on training, adaptability, and innovation continues to be a cornerstone of the IDF. As new challenges emerge, Israel's military remains committed to finding innovative solutions, ensuring the nation's security and maintaining its technological edge. Looking to the future, Israel's commitment to military innovation shows no signs of slowing down. With ongoing investments in research and development, the nation is poised to continue its legacy of pioneering advancements in military technology. David and Goliath, How Technology Evened the Odds The story of David and Goliath is often used to illustrate how the underdog can triumph against seemingly insurmountable odds. In the modern era, technology has become the slingshot that can level the playing field. The 1967 Six-Day War was a watershed moment for Israel and its military. This brief but intense conflict reshaped the geopolitical landscape of the Middle East. Facing a coalition of Arab armies poised to destroy it, Israel launched a preemptive strike that caught its enemies off guard. The stakes were incredibly high and the survival of the nation was at risk. The war, which lasted just six days, saw Israel achieve a stunning victory, capturing vast territories including the Sinai Peninsula, the Gaza Strip, the West Bank, and the Golan Heights. These territorial gains significantly altered the balance of power in the region. While Israel's victory was attributed to a combination of factors, including superior strategy, training, and leadership, technology played a crucial role. The integration of advanced technology into their military strategy was a game-changer. The Israeli Air Force, equipped with advanced French-made fighter jets and employing innovative tactics, decimated the Egyptian Air Force on the ground in a surprise attack known as Operation Focus. This operation was meticulously planned and executed with precision. This decisive blow crippled the Egyptian military and paved the way for Israel's swift victory. The element of surprise, combined with technological superiority, proved to be a lethal combination. The Six-Day War showcased the effectiveness of technology in offsetting numerical and material disadvantages. Israel's ability to leverage technology allowed it to punch well above its weight. It also cemented Israel's reputation as a formidable military power and demonstrated the potential of technological innovation to shape the outcome of conflicts. The war became a case study in how technology can redefine the rules of engagement. The war served as a wake-up call to Arab nations, who realized the need to modernize their own militaries if they were to challenge Israel's dominance. This realization spurred a regional arms race and a renewed focus on technological advancements. It also marked the beginning of a new era in warfare, one in which technology would play an increasingly decisive role. The lessons learned from the Six-Day War continue to influence military strategies and technological developments to this day. Today, the impact of technology on warfare is even more pronounced. Modern military forces rely heavily on advanced technologies such as drones, cyber warfare capabilities, and precision-guided munitions. These tools have transformed the battlefield and continue to evolve at a rapid pace. The global race for technological superiority in the military domain is more intense than ever. Nations around the world are investing heavily in research and development to ensure they stay ahead of potential adversaries. Looking to the future, Technologies like artificial intelligence and robotics are set to revolutionize warfare even further. These advancements promise to bring new capabilities and challenges, fundamentally altering how conflicts are fought and won. As we move forward, the lessons from the Six-Day War remind us of the critical importance of technological innovation in maintaining a strategic edge.
the ability to adapt and integrate new technologies will continue to be a key determinant of military success. In conclusion, the Six-Day War serves as a powerful example of how technology can even the odds in seemingly impossible situations. It underscores the transformative power of innovation and its enduring impact on the art of warfare. The Startup Nation – Building a Military-Industrial Complex In the wake of the Six-Day War, Israel embarked on a concerted effort to build a robust military-industrial complex. Recognizing the importance of self-reliance in defense, the government invested heavily in research and development, fostering a close relationship between the military, academia, and the private sector. This collaborative ecosystem would become a hallmark of Israel's technological prowess, driving innovation and ensuring a steady pipeline of cutting-edge military technologies. One of the key institutions that emerged from this effort was Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, established in 1948. Rafael quickly gained a reputation for developing sophisticated weaponry, including missiles, precision-guided munitions, and electronic warfare systems. Its products, known for their accuracy and lethality, became highly sought after by militaries around the world, turning Rafael into a major player in the global arms market. Alongside government-owned companies like Rafael, a vibrant private sector emerged, developing innovative technologies for the military. Companies like Elbit Systems, Israel Military Industries and Israel Weapon Industries made significant contributions in areas such as avionics, unmanned aerial vehicles and small arms, further bolstering Israel's military capabilities. This synergy between the public and private sectors, driven by a shared sense of purpose and a culture of relentless innovation, became a key factor in Israel's rise as a technological military power.